Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I'm coming to you today to start a new tutorial series and uh, we are going to make another desk set and you know this will be I think my third of the desk sets that I'm using Manila file folders. So this one, of course, they're all been completely different and this one is a shabby chic looking one but I think I'm going to use uh, different papers but this is I'm going to show you how to construct this and then we will go through all the steps now this I'm just going to show you here's the front okay and then here is the back so you could call this an ephemera holder uh, a desk set, whatever, but uh, let me show you how this works because this flips down and of course we've got the large pocket here. In the large pocket, which is back here, as you can see it's all lined on the inside and I used a kit from Taylor Made Journals and uh, it is her La Vie en Rose kit and I also used some Stamperia uh, scrap uh, book papers. Um, so in it I have made a sweet journal and I'm not going to do a whole flip through of this because this set is going to be going in my um, Etsy shop uh, this particular one and the one we're going to create I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that one. It may go in my Etsy shop um, I'm not quite sure. And I made this journal out of a paper bag. So I'm going to show you uh, how uh, we're going to construct a journal that goes inside the large pocket. As you can see, this one is an expandable pocket. Uh, I've pretty much loaded it all out um, with all kinds of goodies. But let me show you where those are tucked. First of all, there is a pocket here. And then this is all loaded out. And I'm not going to really show you all of this now because I am going to do a flip through of this. I just want to get into the construction of uh, making, you know, this. So these just untie uh, because I wanted to have a flip down where you could have room to write here, um, but here is the pocket on the inside. Um, so that's the front. Whoops, let me just close it. And this is done just with two manila folders. And here is the back. And you see I did do a little pocket here. And then this really large pocket with some really large, beautiful tags that I made to go with this set. So let me put this aside. And I'm going to move uh, my pretty table co covering uh, so that... Oh, let me just take this over here because I don't want to get my desk too um, messed up this early in the project. Okay, so I'm going to move this and we are going to be using two file folders, manila file folders. You can find these at the Dollar Tree. I get mine off of Amazon. Uh, Amazon, it's Amazon Basics. And um, I get just a great big thing of them and they're very inexpensive. So uh, I have two different ones. This one has the um, tab on the right hand side. You can do it with the tab on the left hand side, whatever, but this one has the tab in the middle and this is going to be the back pocket. So I'm going to show you how, I, um, how we're gonna cut these down to get the basics of where all the pockets are going to be. And then there's also gonna be a pocket on the inside here. Okay, let me see. So this is measuring eight or 11 inches across. So in order to do that, you're going to have to take a little off of uh, each side. So we'll start with this, because this is going to be the back one. And this will be the expandable pocket back here that you put your journal in, or whatever you want to put in it. Ephemera, you can load it down, you know. So we're just going to take a little bit off of this side just to get, whoops, I did that wrong. I meant this side. 
ignore that uh, off this side so we get just this see how this has a little bit of a notch there we want to get rid of that okay and then to make it to the 11 inches you're just going to take the rest off of the other side the side without the tab so I'm going to measure this down to 11 inches and actually we're right there we're right there so that's 11 inches so I'm going to put that one aside and we're going to do that with the other one and what I did with this is I took a quarter of an inch or so off of each side and then that ended up being 11 inches because this is in the middle because you're gonna see this part this that's on the back let me show you right here and this comes to five and one tenth inches down but we don't need to worry about that yet so uh let me go to 11 inches so that this yeah and there we go so now this will be right in the middle well whoops what did i do oh let me get another one hey guys stop i forgot to trim the other side so disregard that because so you want to take a quarter let me try that again you want to take about a quarter of an inch off each side for this to be 11 inches okay so here it is off of this side and now we want to take it off of this side and actually i'm i'm going to because i feel like I want to make sure this is right in the middle. So it looks like I need to take a tad more off of this side. Because I want to make sure that is right in the middle. Okay, so now we've got 11 inches. So let me go over these measurements again. There's my vitamin from lunch. Okay, so what you're going to do is you see we have a pocket here pocket here pocket here pocket here and how we're going to do this is this this one right here the big one is the one where the tab is over to the side now you see how this has got the um you know the score lines you're going to go ahead because you want i want this gap here okay so what we're going to do is is we're going to score on the top line there so you're just going to basically take follow that you know i think most file folders have these in them but oops i just want to make sure i'm getting this is fumbly on the right on the right bend i might be out of frame for a second guys but when i get back over there you'll see what i did okay so then you've you've got this let me take the other one which came out a little bit better this is going to be on the back okay so this is the front now so i just simply got a little wrinkled but bent it on the very or, or folded it on the very first score of that okay because that one is going to be see so you have this this length here and i hope you can see that um on camera now this second one is um going to be let me grab hold on let me grab mine um this thing right here that's going to be in the back so that would go this way so in order to do that you we're going to have to cut some off of this so this ends up being let me see five and a tenth inch from here down so what I want to do is I'm going to cut off whoops I got to cut from this side wait a minute no 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 
because we're going to score this. So I want this to be five, five and a tenth inch from this, the you know, the dip here. So let me, wait a minute, because I want it to fold up on the other side. Okay, I've got to take off of this side, guys, because then I'm going to fold it up. You know what, the easiest way for me to do this is just to mark it. Because I, I kind of only constructed this once, so I'm just going to mark it here. So I'm taking off, um, let me just tell you how much, three inches. So we're going to cut, but I don't want that because I want this here. Gosh, I got a brain, got a brain hemorrhage here right now. Okay, so, okay, there we go. This is how I want to do it. I'm going to line it up. Ah, I got it. Okay, so what you're going to do with this is you're going to cut, oh, I hope you can follow me. You're going to cut uh, right, uh, you're going to cut the, the folder in half. Okay, so we're going to cut that right in half, right at that score line. And then we will score it to be able to make a pocket out of it. Okay, so now I have this left. I'm going to put that over there. We have this, but we want to score it. So we're going to score it at, the three, at three inches. Okay, so three inches we're going to score, it, and then that will make the pocket. So I can score right here. Okay, and then let's fold this up. So now you have this, okay, like that. And then this is going to, Brie, no Brie, Brie, I'm gonna shut the door, is going to be like this, okay? And here's the back. Okay, now what we need is I want another pocket in here to come up. So it is, uh, Hold on, let me grab the folder again so I can show you as I go along. I should have kept the folder over there. Um, okay, so you've got, this pocket is this pocket, okay? Then this pocket is here. So now we need this pocket right here. So that piece you cut off, right here and that is the piece we're going to need so I had it measured and it's five and a half inches so this will be five and a half inches so I want to cut this at five and a half inches and that is going to slip in here, let me get the other pieces. I've got two of them going here, so it's kind of like, okay, so this is going to be here. We'll put this on here. This is the one we're working on now. Okay, and then this is simply going to be here, and that's going to create the pocket here this one's gonna um this one right here flips down like this this will flip down here this is going to be the um what do you call it the um dimensional pocket up here or hinged pocket i should say then if you flip it around then you have this large pocket for large things and we're probably going to add a little pocket over here on the card stock Okay, so that's the basics. All right, so let me put that aside. Let me put this aside and grab some cardstock, and we can start um, making this. All right, so first thing I want to do is I think I'm going to just cover. We're going to have to cover the insides because you're going to see them. We're going to have to cover the outsides, and we're going to have to cover every pocket, okay? front and back because you see it all okay see how this is um 
I even did the inside there, but see how this is, uh, you can see everything and then you can even see in there. So, and the same thing with the back. So I've, I've literally covered everything just to make sure that, um, you know, everything was nice and covered. All right, I'm gonna grab some paper here because I haven't quite figured out I think I've got a couple of Stamperia pads here. Now that I used uh, some Stamperia paper in the tailor-made journal, the shabby chic style. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit different. Now I had ordered these and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this garden. Uh, so I have this one and I also have orchids and cats. And I think I am gonna make, I'm gonna save this. Let me just look at it save this one it's such beautiful paper to make a uh, full journal with or do I really want to use this today I get real I kind of hoard my papers to be honest with you so this is really cute let me take a look at the flower alphabet garden I had used a few pieces of this see I like this the plain pieces to cover in this yeah I think we might go with this one I think I'm gonna save the orchid one this is how this is how my thought process is going because I think I can make a journal with that and then I also have the garden scrapbook but see I like the this planer sheet and then these other things uh, Bree stop uh, we got construction going on here, so gosh, I hope it's not too dark in here. Let me look in the thing. Um, so Bree's up looking out the window. This is fun. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the other one. Oh, but oh, I like this, and that would look good as a background. And this, and this. Uh, I think I'm going to I could I could combine these as well oh boy okay I think these are cute now I think I'm gonna use the other one I might use a few sheets of this so I'll put this aside Okay, so it's the garden scrapbooking. All right, I know I want to use this. I like the pinstripe or the tick. It looks kind of looks like ticking or fabric or something. And these right here, I'm going to take these out because we're going to save these for stuffing the pockets. Those are cute. I'll put those over there. Um, this would be fun for making some tags, but I also like this. So let me just pull this. I'll put that there. Okay, more striping. These all coordinate quite well. This is super cute. I like the wood. This would be a great fussy cut. This one's not bad, possibility. Because I'm gonna need quite a bit of it. And obviously, this is a no-brainer because the backside is unusable. All right, now, see I also have, I can pull from here some of these crackle pages. So let me just, See, they, they blend well with that one. So let me just pull this one. I'll never use that. So it's just not my style. Let me put that aside. The green is pretty. It can blend. That's too plain. Okay. And this is too blue and purple, too purple. This one I might be able to use. Okay, I think we have plenty. We have plenty to work with to start with. Okay, with that, let's figure out what we're gonna use first.
Whoops, that one I don't need. All right, let me put these aside, pull out the folder. Okay, for the back piece, let's cover this first. I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna keep this for the front. We'll use either this green, this green's a little bit, oh, this side is pretty. Now I think we'll use, this okay so this part is pretty simple so I'm just simply oh I forgot about that side no. see I forgot I got to cover the back too so this is an awful lot of paper huh all right, so I'm just going to, the simplest way for me to do this is I'm gonna mark it with a pencil. And I probably won't do this whole thing on camera. I'll just get you started with this and then, all right, let me cut this down. The, the covering with the paper is the least favorite part of the, these for me because I kind of like just to do the decorating. Uh, I think I lost, I lost my pencil mark. All right, let's try that again. Nope, this is here, this is this way. Okay, and there's my pencil mark right there. And now I have to sit here with it a little dark in here. I hope you guys can see me because of Miss Bree. I might try to open that up in a minute. All right, so we got that. Whoops. All right. Um... Oh, I forgot about this part up here. You know what, that's okay. I'm going to just raise it right up because this is down here and this is going to be covered with a pocket, so I'm not too concerned about that. So this part I'm going to have to trim off and I think I'm gonna do it um, before I glue this. And this, this looks like it's a little bit too wide. It is, I guess I measured wrong. Fumbly, fumbly. Let me see. I mean, I could always just trim it off after, but let me just take this little piece off because. I think that should be right. If it's not, we'll just trim it after. Okay, so then I'm going to pull this right up here. And I think it will be easier for me to, to trim it now. And that reminds me of something else. I want to round the corners of everything. So um, we're going to be using the corner, uh, the corner rounder here in a minute. Oh, let me grab my scissors, my scissors here and cut. All right. Whoops, this way. And now we can glue. And then I'll round these corners after. So there's one one thing cut and ready to glue. And then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick my papers for the rest of it. And then cover cover them off camera. Okay. 
I try to keep my um, videos down be, be under 45 minutes because I know people just don't have the time to sit and, you know, watch real long, you know, real long videos. Okay, and then... Okay, so there's that. Now, we're going to cover this, but I'm going to figure out which papers that I want on the front here. And uh, I kind of like... This is pretty. So I think I'm going to use this one here on this one. So let me just mark how much I'm going to need. Hopefully I can get it right this time. All right, let me trim that down. And then we're going to pick the papers for the other pockets too because I just want to see how it's all going to come together. Okay, and then because we've got so many layers going here. So this is going to go here. And of course, I, I will, you know, trim it down to the size. So that's going to go there. Then we have this pocket will be next okay so with that one I want to see do I you know what I think I'm going to do the stripe this one right here and then we've got hold on then we've got this one as well. So we've got this one here. So I might want to do a solid here, one of these solids. I also have that piece I just cut off, actually. I might use this. Well, that's not solid, is it? Got a little window over there. I don't know if I really like that. I think I'm probably going to use this one. So let me just see if I'm going to like that. I also have this crackle. That seems a little blue. Let me look at this one want to see how they blend this way I think I would do this way I think that's what I'm going to do so we've got that there then I'm going to use this one the striped right there and then I believe I'm going to use this one okay so that's going to be the front now the back I'll probably use this large stripe one back here and then probably a solid because we're going to be coming up and decorating on top of these. Okay, so that will take care of that. And then for the insides, I'm going to use what I have left over. So that's that's the plan, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye on part one and part two. You'll come back, and you're going to see everything covered and a good start on this, uh, a good start on this uh, folder. So with that being said, you can go in and cut your folders down. And then after I cover these all with paper, I am going to come in and round all of the corners. And then we're going to talk about how we're going to hinge these and what to do next. So this is the boring part, covering with your paper, but find your papers you like. If you want to follow along, get your file folders. You've got the sizes, and uh, we will be back for part two. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye.